Okay, here's the question. The question is to evaluate this integral from 0 to infinity ln of 1 plus x over x to the power of 2 over 3 times 1 plus x dx. One of my viewers was asking to use beta function. So I'll be using this beta integration. So say uh, f of alpha and beta. Okay. Uh, this is integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus 1. Okay, that over 1 plus x to the power of alpha plus beta in dx. This is just the same as beta of alpha beta. And then if both alpha and beta are greater than 0. Okay, then let's differentiate with respect to beta. And then since um, derivative of 1 plus x, say, to the power of negative alpha plus beta with respect to the beta. This is just the same as negative of the ln of 1 plus x. Okay, that times 1 plus x to the power of negative alpha plus beta. Okay, so that is why this integral, integral from 0 to infinity, integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus 1, uh, the times ln of 1 plus x. Okay, then that over uh, 1 plus x to the power of alpha plus beta. And then we have dx. Okay, then this is just going to be the same as negative derivative of beta of alpha and beta with respect to the beta. So that is why this is an expression of negative beta of alpha beta function. And then that times using di gamma function. Di gamma of beta. And then minus di gamma of uh, alpha plus beta. And then we should be choosing alpha as 1 over 3 and then beta as 2 over 3 based on our integral, right? So choosing alpha as 1 over 3 and beta as 2 over 3. And then we can also know how 1 plus x to the power of negative alpha uh, to the power of negative alpha plus beta. Okay. This is just going to be the same as then uh, 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 using these two values, right? And then x to the power of alpha minus 1 is then going to be x to the power of, since alpha was 1 over 3, x to the power of negative 2 over 3. And then this will give you, let me call this as i, integral i. Integral has to be then the same as negative beta of alpha beta was 1 over 3 and 2 over 3. Okay, then that times di gamma of uh, beta, 2 over 3, minus di gamma of alpha plus beta, which is just a 1. This is what we need to work on. So let's just talk about the beta of 1 over 3 and 2 over 3. Okay, then this is represented as the gamma of 1 over 3 times gamma of 2 over 3. And then this is easily calculated to be uh, 2 pi over square root of 3. Then let's talk about this di gamma function of, say, z, right? And then about... Di gamma of z. This is simply the derivative of ln of gamma of z with respect to z, of course. This is just going to be the same as then gamma prime of z over gamma z. Then I'll be using two formulas, recurrence relation and reflection formula. So first of all, the recurrence. Recurrence relation says di gamma of uh, z plus 1. This is just the same as di gamma of z plus 1 over z. And the next one is reflection formula. Um, it says di gamma of 1 minus z 
Okay, minus di gamma of c. Okay, this is just a pi times cotangent of pi z. I'll also be using gamma of 1 is equal to 1. And also, then if you consider the z near uh, 1, we can say gamma of now z. Gamma of z has to be then 1 minus this little gamma, which is match running constant, right? So this is Euler's match running constant times z minus 1. And then that plus big O of z minus 1 squared. Let's take the log, right? So taking a log, then we have ln of gamma z. Okay, this is then going to be the same as negative match running constant. Uh, that times c minus 1. Okay, then that plus okay, big O of c minus 1 square. And then let's differentiate when z is equal to 1, right? So let's differentiate at z is equal to 1. Then we should have di gamma. Okay, the di gamma of uh, just the one. Di gamma of one is d over dz of ln of gamma uh, z. Gamma of c when your z is equal to one. Okay. So this is then going to be just the same as this match running, negative match running constant. Uh, so that says di gamma of one. This is just negative match running constant. Okay, then I'll be using the reflection formula, right? So reflection formula to talk about uh, when z is 2 over 3. Using the reflection formula, then we can say di gamma of uh, 1 minus 2 over 3 minus di gamma of 2 over 3. This is just going to be pi times cotangent of 2 pi over 3 then. Okay, so from this work, we can say di gamma of 1 over 3 minus di gamma of 2 over 3. Okay, this is just pi cotangent of 2 pi over 3. So cotangent 2 pi over 3, this is negative 1 over square root of 3. So that's why this whole thing is just same as negative pi over square root of 3. Okay, so using this, we can say di gamma of uh, 1 over 3 minus di gamma of 2 over 3. This was negative pi over square root of 3. Okay, then we can also say di gamma of 2 over 3. Di gamma of 2 over 3 is then going to be the same as di gamma of 1 over 3. Okay, then that plus pi over square root of 3. And then based on Gauss di gamma theorem, right? So using that, um, di gamma of 1 over 3 is just going to be the same as negative match running constant, little gamma, minus pi over 2 radical 3. And then minus 3 over 2 ln 3. So then we can just talk about also this di gamma of 2 over 3. Okay, then this is the same as negative match running constant plus pi over 2 radical 3. Okay, then that minus 3 over 2 ln 3. Then let's talk about di gamma of 2 over 3 minus di gamma of 1. So eventually di gamma of 2 over 3 minus di gamma of 1. Okay, then this is just going to be the same as pi over 2 radical 3, uh, that minus 3 over 2 ln 3. Okay, so putting all of these together, so integral i that we are looking for, it is just the same as negative 2 pi over square root of 3. Okay, then parenthesis, pi over 2 times square root of 3 uh, minus 3 over 2 ln 3. If you distribute everything, Distributing everything, it is the same as then uh, negative pi squared over 3. And then that plus 
pi radical 3 times ln 3. Okay, so eventually the final answer has to be, let me switch these two just to make it better, right? So integral i that we're looking for is pi radical 3 times ln 3 minus pi squared over 3. This is the answer for the question. It's a pretty interesting integral using beta function and digamma function. How amazing. 